finally ordered one of those happy lights to see if it would make the mornings easier and brighter. And now I'm just staring into it when I wake up because Huberman tells us that we need light in our eyeballs when we first get up and there's no light in the winter. <laughs> I don't live in California. So trying to see if this is making a difference. Am I blinding myself? I don't know, but he says to get it in your retina. <laughs> Maybe still under the tree. And in the morning, when I have my 5 a.m. mornings like this, I just come downstairs, mix my pre-workout, and we hit the road. I know there's lots of discussions as to what you should be having in the morning, and trust me, I've tried many different variations of things over the years, and honestly, if I am going to play tennis, if I'm going straight to doing a cardio, I can't eat anything. It makes me, like, I really get the shakes. I get, like, hot and I get shaky and it's very weird and that is no matter what I eat, I'm just doing that for myself if I'm going straight to my workout, I'm fine and I eat my breakfast after. Every time I say that everyone's like, oh my god, it's so bad for your hormones and all that and I'm like, listen, listen. We're all just doing our best here, okay? So I am mixing my pre-workout. I love this flavor. This is the gummy bear flavor and this one in particular has 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. That's a lot to just pop into your body right away. Uh, so I do half a scoop and then I mix my creatine in there. Pardon me, I mix my creatine in there as well. And that's all I bring with me. Wallet, keys, lip balm, headphones. Pre-workout, phone, husband, we're ready to go. We almost made it on time. <laughs> I have to show you guys my tennis shoes, the stage of them. I have lost count at this point of how many of these shoes that I've gone through. <laughs> okay, this shoe. <laughs> Completely gone. At this point, I am giving up on Adidas. Dan has very kindly ordered me ASICs and we're gonna see how this goes because obviously I'm doing something very wrong when I serve. Like, this isn't normal, this shouldn't be happening. But I guess I'm a toe dragger. Um, so this one has a much more substantial, thicker rubber on the toe and I'm hoping that it lasts longer because this is so sad. This is a brand new shoe. Look at this shoe, brand new. And it just gets to the point where my toes stick out. So. We made it to the gym, doing our little shoe change in the car. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you, there have been many a morning where Dan and I have sat here and then decided to go home. <laughs> That's not gonna happen today. We're gonna go do our workout, but sometimes, you know, it's all fine and dandy. We make it to tennis and then there's only so much motivation you can muster up in a day to make it to the next part. But I did want to give you an update on my headphones in case anyone cares. My AirPods broke. And we went to the Apple store and I was like, oh, maybe I'll try these because they have this little this little flickety flick that sits in your ear. And I, I have weird ears. Weird toes and weird ears, okay? This little thing is bent down and it doesn't actually hold headphones in on my ears. So when I'm running specifically on the treadmill, my AirPods always fall out. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll try these so that they stay in. Definitely not as good quality, but they do stay in and they're not broken. So that's exciting. Anyway, those are my headphones currently. We're gonna go in and I'm doing an upper body day, a shoulder push day. Depending on how busy the gym is, we'll determine how many clips I'm able to sneak, but it's just hard when it's a busy public gym. Every time I drink out of my water bottle, I just dribble it all over me. I have no bottom lip. Every single sweatsuit that I own ends up getting stained in some manner because when I'm at home, like I wear my sweatsuits when I'm at home and when I'm cooking and things, if I forget to put my apron on, there's always something that dribbles and it stains and it's so sad. I love this color. It's one of my softest sweatsuits I have and it's just stained right front and center. There's no, I don't know what to do. Like, do I just have to live in an apron? Anyway, we're home guys. I am sorry. I didn't take a single 
clip. It's just when, I, when we go at that time, right after tennis at like 7, 10, it's just the busiest. And at this point you've seen the workouts, like I'm not here to coach you through a workout, but I can definitely like tell you the things that I do. For future, I promise that we will do more workouts at home. We've just really been, like it's just, been very busy and it's just a little bit more motivating when we get out of the house and have to go and like we book the tennis court and we do that on purpose so that we do our workout whereas sometimes when i'm at home if we have a really busy day i will sit here and i will drag it out and then i will end up missing my workout so it's just been trying to do whatever we can to stay motivated and get to the gym and for us both of us leaving the house has just been a little bit more helpful so i apologize we will chat through more workouts in the new year but for now we're just just trying to get through just trying to make it through the day <laughs> anyway now i'm home and it's time to make my breakfast. I have posted my smoothie recipe on both Instagram and TikTok, but I've been doing a little bit of a different variation of it these days. And I'm telling you now for anyone who doesn't like discussions on meal plans and things, and I have been on a new meal plan with my new year at DIY Body. And I definitely like the idea of intermittent fasting and there's a lot of discussions about that and how eating your food and digesting your food can make you groggy like your body is working and it can make you feel a little bit more sleepy and if you just want to have a bit more energy like that's the whole point of intermittent fasting and also if you are doing a meal plan if you are dieting and you're in a calorie deficit it can just be easier to shorten that eating window because it just makes you feel like you're eating more and i know that sounds crazy for anyone who is against meal plans and diets and I understand but definitely for me to stick to my meal plan it's a lot easier to just eat later in the day uh, this morning we do have a very busy day and I am hungry so I'm going to eat earlier than normal but basically for my meal plan I know that a lot of you are gonna think that I am insane for this breakfast but I really it's so yummy and I like moist wet food. I like food to be moist. I don't like eating dry food. Don't give me a dry sandwich. I need all the sauce. So for my breakfast, what my coach gave me was oatmeal with a side of berries, my greens powder, and then protein powder. And I just decided to separate all of that into more voluminous meals. So I'm gonna make my smoothie. We'll start with that. I've been crushing this every day going through it. Berries in the cup. Then also in here, I take my AG1 powder, my little greens powder. And just to help me stay regular uh, for some extra fiber and goodness, I do a tablespoon of ground chia seeds. And I buy ground chia seeds because <laughs> I watched a video once saying that your body doesn't digest or get all the benefits of the chia seed if it's not chewed up properly and if it's not ground up properly. And you don't necessarily chew and break up every chia seed in your eating process. So they were like, you can ground your chia seeds or buy ground chia seeds to get more of the benefits. And I was like, even if that's not true, that sounds like it makes more sense to me. And I also keep them in the fridge. Don't ask me why. Are you supposed to? I don't know, but I just do. Then I add water. And I give this a blend. It looks like the color of health to me. Mmm. Beautiful. When I start my day with this, it makes me feel like I'm doing good things for my gut and my digestive system to start with this. <laughs> Even though technically we started with pre-workout, but you know. In the summertime, I'd have my breakfast with my side of berries and instead of my side of berries, I'm just turning that into a more liquidy smoothie, mixing it in with my athletic greens. It also makes the greens powder a little bit more easy to take because honestly, for a while I was starting my morning with it and it's just so disgusting to me on its own, I can't. So mixing it in here, I don't taste it at all. And I just taste sweet, succulent, delicious berries. And it's like a little green juice and a berry smoothie all in one. I'm getting my greens, I'm getting all the goodness in here. So that's kind of like my substitute for my side of berries with my breakfast. And then sometimes I don't have my protein powder in here because I love to have my protein coffee, but I do like to save that for later to just have an additional a little treat. And that's something I really don't relate to. And I see a lot of videos <laughs> circulating on the internet. It's a lot of women saying that they struggle to get enough protein in. And I'm like, I do not relate to that. I do not have a problem with that. I could crush easily like hundreds of grams of protein all day, every day. I love protein. I love protein powder. I love protein food. I love shrimp. I love chicken. I love turkey. I love eggs. Like give me all the protein. My problem is keeping my protein low. 
like I could drink my protein coffee all day long, <laughs> but it's too much, it's too much. I overeat protein, so I have to separate it. Technically I could do like half a scoop of protein in here, half a scoop of protein in my protein coffee, but I like it just as it is, so that's fine. I would rather have this and then save my sweet little succulent healthy mocha protein coffee for later, and that's delicious to me. So for now I'm gonna drink my smoothie. This is breakfast part one. <laughs> part one and while I drink this I'm just gonna creep the calendar for the day take a peek at my emails try to answer Vanessa because Vanessa wakes up at the crack of dawn her and her fiance Max they live on Toronto time and so they're always up in the morning and I always see Vanessa's emails start at 7 a.m. <laughs> and they start to trickle in so I just do a little creep in my emails see what's on the calendar for the day and enjoy my succulent smoothie so my smoothie's done now I'm gonna take my little morning my morning supplements I mentioned in my evening routine, just in case you missed it, that I have been trying to break up my supplements, as you should. Like even my little container has, has a sunshine and a moon for morning and night. I haven't separated this out yet because I'm still trying to, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out, but I've been taking magnesium citrate, 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 however you want to call it. It says two to three. Oh, one to three. Sorry, one to three capsules. I'm like, perfect. Three, make me poo and help my bones. And with that, I also take the Ritual Goodness. I'm certain that my discount code is still active with Ritual, so I will link that below. I have worked with Ritual in the past. I have also purchased my own Ritual. I love it, I love the multivitamin. And then they actually sent a, a lovely PR package with their Pro, sorry, I was to say probiotic. It's called Symbiotic, but it's their prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic. And I always see people talking about Pro and pre and all the biotics. And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Honestly, my gut is an unhappy little camper. Very cute, fun little capsule. Look at all that fun. And then I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. This is Hyacera Daily Skin Hydration with an asterisk. This statement has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, but that's the case for a lot of things from the States that I see. But apparently it's just a big old dose of hyaluronic acid. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if this is doing anything. That's the thing with supplements. It's like such a molecular level that you can't see immediately with your eyes and like skincare and things, everything, all of these things just take so much time for you to notice any difference. And then when you're also introducing a bunch of new things at one time, you don't know what's helping. So for the hydrating one specifically, I can't be like, wow, yes, I feel so much more hydrated because I'm also being on top of my health and fitness routines. I am revamping my skincare routine. I'm simplifying my skincare routine. I'm simplifying my makeup. Like there's so many things that are going on at once that it would be hard for me to be like, yes, this capsule is the one. But at least I know with like the multivitamins and magnesium and things like that, there's kind of an immediate effect that I feel. But the very hyper specific supplements, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Use it at your own discretion. Sorry, I always forget to grab this because it's on Dan's shelf and we're actually almost out of this, but also take a couple chewable vitamin C's because I'm a child, but we also need vitamin C. Lately, Meryl's been doing this a lot. She's been sitting on the table or sitting on the counter. It drives Dan crazy, but I personally think it's very cute because I'm like, oh, she just wants to be up here with me. But I have a theory that she does this because, in case you didn't know about Meryl, she is on medication for her life. She has irritable bowel disease, my sweet little kitty cat, and we have to give her a little pill. And I know she doesn't like it. I know it makes me sad shoving a little pill down her throat. <laughs> so when I do it, I always pick her up because I have to like shove it into her mouth and I put her on the counter. I know, horrifying, a lot of you will be disgusted in me, but every time I do it, I give her little treats and so I just put the treats on the counter. So I think that she is sitting on the table because she now associates the height of the table and the counter with her treat time. <laughs> and so I think she's sitting there waiting in the hopes that I'm gonna give her a treat and shove her little medicine pill down her throat. So I don't give it to her every day. She takes it like every three or four days, but I don't think she's doing it to be cute. I think she's doing it because she thinks she's gonna get a snack. Allegedly, she would agree. Okay, I've just decided that for the sake of timing this morning, I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast number two. Now again, please don't judge me. This is truly a breakfast that is so delicious to me and some of you might think this is disgusting. Dan thinks I'm disgusting because I basically just like to eat multiple variations of soup at all times of day. So I've got 40 grams of oatmeal. I'm gonna add water and put that in the microwave. 
And then for protein, I'm gonna have some egg whites, which is another thing that so many people hate eating egg whites. <laughs> I love egg whites. And I've mentioned this before, but you could give me anything that is drenched in salt and it will be a delicious meal in my opinion. So I think it's, again, just another vessel for me to eat salt, but I love egg whites so much. Actually, fun fact, did you know that allegedly, statistically, Canadians in the world consume the most salt? That was a fun little fact. I'm like, oh, are we all just sad and cold and looking to salt to spruce up our life? I don't know, but there's my egg whites. <laughs> Oatmeal's done. Meryl is screaming at me. Now here's where things get a little wild, okay? In this little oatmeal mixture, what I'm going to add first is salt. This is a salt that our contractors also told us to buy because they're just like one with the earth, you know? They give us the best recommendations. They're also like, you need to get a filter system. And what did they say in oxidize? I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. My 5 a.m. brain is not working with me on this, but it was something, some filter that you attached for your water. Anyway, uh, they were like, this is great salt, get this salt. So adding some salt to the oatmeal, we will add cinnamon. I'm gonna laugh the queen like cinnamon. I have this Truvia icing sugar. It is so good. So good. I just do a little sprinkle of that for some sweetness. And then we have the Walden Farms caramel, the caramel flavored syrup. I've tried a few of these now. We have the pancake syrup, we have the walnut one. The caramel syrup is the best one, in my opinion. It is so, 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 so good. LOL, but it tastes like a bowl of warm dessert. It is so good. It reminds me of my childhood in those cold winter mornings living in Alberta and every morning we had cream of wheat and I would just pour brown sugar and maple syrup on my bowls of cream of wheat and that's the vibe that this gives me. It honestly makes me feel warm on a cold winter day. I said this in my last like hot girl winter chat. I said it very briefly and only one person commented on it. And I thought it was so funny, but so many people really despise these kind of like ingredient alternatives, very highly chemical ingredient products. And I made the joke being like, listen, some people do drugs and I eat an Atkins bar. And it's, it's really how I feel. Sometimes I'm like, listen, these are temporary alternatives while I'm doing this meal plan. And in the meantime, they are getting me through and they taste delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's my oatmeal soup. Egg whites. We're back in the bathroom. Now listen, I was fully, fully prepared to do my hair wash day today, but honestly, it's getting to that point in the morning where I'm just hitting a little bit of a slump and it'll be time for coffee soon. And also it's just, I'm, I'm forever cold. I'm always so cold in the winter time. And this is where I just don't know how people have cold plunging as part of their life when they live in a place with winter. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I'm cold. And you know what? I'm gonna give myself the out this morning and I'm not gonna shower right now because guess what? I have got a physio and a massage appointment later. And so I think I'm just going to postpone my shower until then because I'm just gonna be filming for the rest of the morning. I have a call this afternoon. So you know what? We're gonna go with a little updo and we're gonna just postpone the hair wash day. So I've just put some under eye patches on because I'm feeling a little, feeling a little moment and we're gonna let that soak while we do our updo. <laughs> Honestly, the slick pony revelation is both a gift and a curse for me because it's something that I'm so happy I can now do when my hair is dirty and when I don't feel like washing my hair, but at the same time, it means that I have an easy way out when I'm feeling lazy. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is a thing. We're gonna do an update today, guys. I'm gonna take some of my hair oil and I just put that on the ends because I feel like this helps moisturize and give your hair a little bit of love while you're doing an updo, especially when I'm doing a tight bun. I like to just make sure I do something on my poor hair so that it doesn't feel so angry as I'm yanking it out and doing a tight bun. <laughs> then I take my comb and I still like to keep my middle part. I think that that makes a huge difference when you're doing a slick bun. It just gives it that extra little level of polishedness, doesn't it? And then I will fiddle and just brush my hair back until I'm happy with how it is all sitting in my hands. And sometimes this can take me so long. And sometimes I can't get it right and I just have to live with a lumpy bun, but I will do my best to keep shaping it and reshaping it until I'm happy with the shape. And I also wanted to say that I had posted my little, my healthy hair routine, whatever I titled that video. And someone had commented actually a great point that I totally 
missed and I wish I had found a tip on that before because it was such a good point. But talking about keeping your brushes clean, that is something I absolutely neglect and I have my entire life. We No one ever talked about washing hair brushes. You would just pull the hairs out and I never ever washed my brush and it was always disgusting and coated in hair dander and dirt and dust and who knows what else. Honestly, it was such a good point, but just wanted to say that I love that comment and I absolutely need to add washing my hairbrush into my hair routine as well. It's such a good point and something I totally missed in that video. So good call out. And I was just looking at my brush thinking, wow, yes, I do need to clean that. I don't know how I'm already out of this already. Oh my. Take my hairspray and my little boar bristle brush. I really need to find one of those powders that matches my hair color so I can fill in the gaps. Mind the gap. And so at this point, we've got three options. We can either leave it as a pony, we can turn it into a bun, or we can braid it. I don't always love to leave it as a pony because it can kind of feel a little bit plain or look a little bit messy. I don't know, if you wanna do that ultimate finished polished look, I think that doing something with the pony helps. So I will either braid it like this and just give it a little tie on the end here, or we can take this and move it into a bun. I think I'm gonna leave the braid. I like the braid for the day. That's good. Nice and clean. Okay. Time for some skincare. And I just realized I made the grave mistake. I do this often to myself, but I will do my slick pony or my slick bun before taking my hoodie off. And I do this all the time. And I sit there and I'm like, crap, I'm going to have to take my hoodie off and come back in and redo it because I'm going to pull it over and it's going to ruin everything. So yes, I do this to myself and then I instantly regret it. Anyway, I'm just doing my morning skincare. Some vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. My jaw has been so tight, so I just like to do a little, you know. Then my face cream. And my sunscreen. Okay, for my outfit, I decided to go with one of the outfits that we did in our last styling session with Alison Bornstein. If you guys missed that video, I will link it here for you. She's been helping so much to bring ease to my getting dressed on the daily. And even though I took off my hoodie and I put a turtleneck on, the pony lasted. I guess the hairspray was slicked and ready to go. So here's what I'm wearing, layering up the little turtleneck. This is my Everlane turtleneck and then this is my Jenny Kane sweater. I paired that with my black jeans. I'll show you my full outfit in a sec. But first I'm gonna don my jewels, so putting my engagement rings on. I need to go find my earrings. I have my little Monica Vinader ring. I don't know where I put my little dangly second hole earrings, but I'm gonna put my hoops in. And then I'm actually gonna take my Apple Watch off because I'm gonna be hitting the walking pad soon to upload today's video. So I just take my Apple Watch and I put it on my ankle. Top tip if you're tracking indoor walks and you want the most effective way to get all your steps in, put your Apple Watch on your ankle. <laughs> it's hilarious, but you can literally tuck it into your sock, which is so funny. So then I'm gonna put my pretty watch on. This is my Longines watch. Da, 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 da. And then this is my outfit for the day. Very cozy and casual, yet still put together. I can still flop around at home. And even though I work from home, it still just gives me that like put together feeling where if I leave the house or if I'm on a call, I just know that on the inside and the outside, we have an outfit on or put together. It's so funny. These things always look so much better in person than they do on video. I feel like the flow of a baggy pant never looks the same on camera as it does in person. I'm like, oh, this looks so cute and fun. And then in a photo or a video, you have to be like, I don't know, it's just funny. It never looks the same. And yes, I have been putting my shoes on at home. Either my shoes or my slippers, but it just makes me feel put together. I almost forgot, but people often include fragrance in their little morning routines, don't they? This is just my always preferred combination, but especially in the winter, I love to mix Tom Ford Umbra Leather with Replica by the Fireplace. And I just douse myself in this. And finally, my friends, uh, we are dressed and it is time to have our succulent protein coffee. We got slim pickings left here, fam, but that's okay. We'll make do. Now you may be thinking to yourself, wow, Alana, this is really excessive to be using so many different cups for this, but this is important to do the blending in another cup because since we got the new frother, what I've realized is that it actually gets too hot. And if you put the protein powder into liquid that is too hot, 
it will turn into a curdled, disgusting, solidified mess, and you want it to be creamy and frothy and mocha and chocolatey and delicious. So I put it in the other cup and I froth it separately so that when I pour it into the coffee, there's no curdling done. That, my friends, is a good cup of joe. Wow. Mm. And my friends, that is everything for my morning routine. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. That's a little look at the, you know, well, the random collection of things that I do in the morning to stick to hot girl winter, get my workout in, and eat my very odd collection of uh, breakfast goods. So <laughs> I'm now gonna go glue myself to the walking pad and upload today's video. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!